All right, Derek, you ask questions. I did. So, a show premiered last week, season premiere. Mm-hmm. Little known show called The Walking Dead. Mm. Now, I have not watched this show since season three. Mm. I just kind of fell off of it. Mm. Why, Robbie? I want to go home. I, this is what we're addressing here. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm trying so, to get both sides of the spectrum. <laughs> okay, so something happened, mm-hmm. which really, even they themselves have been spoiling it, so it's yeah. really not a big deal now. What I've been curious about since The Walking Dead really took off, what is the fascination with people spoiling that show right when it comes out? I don't know. It could just be me exaggerating, but it seems like people love to spoil that show specifically. Because I remember when Force Awakens came out, I didn't really see any spoilers for it. You know, Avengers, anything like that, any Marvel movie, no real big spoilers. Why The Walking Dead? And I was thinking to myself, I honestly don't know. So, I turned to the Facebook, as it was originally called, and I posted this. On the next podcast, I'll be bringing up the latest incident with The Walking Dead spoilers and spoiler etiquette. My questions that I want to ask everyone on the page are, one... What do you consider to be good spoiler etiquette? And two, why do you think people spoil The Walking Dead and other movies and shows so much? Our good friend Derek Daniel says, For the first question, I've seen other Facebook groups do spoiler threads as this creates discussion for the people who have seen it, but also warns people who haven't watched this to not read down the post in the comment section if they don't want to know what happened. Is it perfect? Of course not, but it does give a fair warning. For the second question, it's simple. As Michael Caine, as Alfred once said, some people just want to watch the world burn. That is true. Uh, Josh Gay says, 24 to 48 hours is normal. You can't expect the world to stop because you own a DVR. But those that intentionally spoil things for others, a.k.a. fans walking out of Force Awakens yelling, Han Solo dies, those people are just complete garbage. Han Solo dies? Somebody actually commented on that. Wait, what? Han Solo died? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Mary Jane says, good spoiler etiquette. Start the post by saying spoiler and not put up any photos. I think sometimes people post them because they are just either rude or just honestly don't realize they are spoiling it for people. Lauren Strickland, in Walking Dead relation or any TV show, I say Tuesday to Wednesday is okay. For movies, a week after release. Cole Bruner finally says, If you must, then I think spoiler threads is the most appropriate way while on social media. As far as time frame, I'm not sure because some people have to wait for Netflix while others are just busy with life. I'm actually surprised by the amount of spoilers from The Walking Dead this week. They even had the actors on Conan talking about it, which I thought was a little soon. So this is overall my thought on the spoiler thing. Can you wait a month I don't think that you can expect people to wait a month on social media. Posting it right when it happens, I disagree with completely. I think, like, groups, pages like we have, we could do, like, say, Star Wars spoiler thread, you know, leave in the comments below. Instead of just posting, you know, oh my god, I can't believe so-and-so just died on The Walking Dead. What was funny was right when The Walking Dead ended, I posted a meme. That it was the Game of Thrones one. Uh, brace you, yourself. Yeah, brace yourself. Spoilers are coming. Someone that I know on Facebook that spoiled that episode actually liked my meme. And I'm like, you stupid hypocrite. You are the reason. <laughs> yes. The world is burning. So this is my thing. Like As far as people who spoil it, I think it's a combination of two. I think there is a minority that just doesn't think. Mm -hmm. I think they're just like, oh, i got to talk about this, and they post it, and they don't even think about it. Because I've even accidentally spoiled a couple of things, just because Mm -hmm. sometimes you don't think about it. But for the most part, I think people do it because they know it gets under people's skins. Trolls. And and they just, they get an enjoyment out of it. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I will admit, I've spoiled some things myself as well, but... After I do it, and like someone's like, I didn't know that happened. Like, I feel guilty oh, yeah. about it. Oh, like, yeah. I, you know, I always apologize for it. There's a way to handle it. Um, I know this was a conversation where we went a long time back in the day on. Yep. There's just no reason. Like, 
find somebody that watches the show, find someone that enjoys it as much as you, and talk to them. Do the spoiler threads. Whatever. Text somebody. Call somebody after it's done. Skype them. Google Hangout. There's several different ways to contact people. Don't just go on there and just blast it all over Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and everything. It's ridiculous. And AMC is doing a horrible job of it as well. Like yeah. they are fostering that. Yeah. Um, you don't see it as much with the Game of Thrones side of it, but there's still spoilers with it. But most people will say spoiler warning. Like when I did yeah. all the Game of Thrones reviews, like when you were on as well, like we would we would review the episode like kind of vaguely and at the end we'd be like okay guys this is the spoiler part of the episode we're going to get into details here there's a way to handle it and yeah. the way people are handling it is really bad like when i found out like who died i was like okay all right and then comic book resources like here's a frame 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 by frame comparison with the comic book and i'm like all right and then i saw someone else that's going to die tonight like Someone got set photos of the next person to die, and I'm just like, "What the crap is going on here?" Like, it's I ridiculous. Know what you're talking about. It's absolutely ridiculous. There is a way to do it, and like, it makes the sh- like I don't want to watch the show. Like, I already know what's happening, so yeah. there's no reason for me to watch it. Yeah, exactly. Now, you know, I completely agree with, with what both of you guys are saying. I do think I do understand all about getting excited about doing that because I've done that. We've had times where we went and watched a movie and we're supposed to review it and i'm just so excited and i'm already talking about it and they have to keep like calm down calm down so i understand and i think that good etiquette on social media is i wait at least a week to do it before after everything comes out and i think a lot of the issues with the walking dead while we're seeing it the most it's because amc and the walking dead and the actors are kind of culturing that mm-hmm. kind of community yeah. to where enabling it yeah where it's okay well we're going to spoil it too just like um you know glenn and abraham had uh, their makeup on and they were drinking starbucks they're like we've been drinking starbucks for so many hours and we have no side effects and it pans up and it's the the pictures of them minus the blood and gore so you know they're 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 like you said they're enabling it i wonder who died somebody died Obviously, if they don't know about it now, <laughs> then, then good for you. So, like, I haven't watched The Walking Dead since season three, but I know everything that has yeah. happened because of Facebook. Yeah, exactly. And and that's one thing about being so connected now in this world is if you don't want to watch news, if you don't want to hear anything, you have to completely stop what go you're off doing. Go the grid. You go have to go the, dark. You have to go find a cave to live in. Uh, a nerd cave. Ooh. Yeah. But it's it's ridiculous, and I do think that if you need to spoil it, I'm not, I'm not saying if you need to spoil. Wait a week and then you know talk about it because I know there's been times when I've watched uh, like The Flash and and Arrow. What did I do? I didn't post on Facebook. I called Derek because I knew it was the day after, so I called him. I used to call you, but you're uh, you're quite a hey, bit behind. I started watching. You're catching up. I started watching the new se- like the last season of Flash. So I'm catching up. So I've got to like intersperse. I've been watching The Office. That's been mounting. That's such a good show. It is lately. So like UK or US? US. I don't know. That's a good. I don't one. like Ricky Gervais. So hmm. Steve Carell is genius. Mm. I do show. like Jer- Ricky, but I think that I Steve Carell is way better. Big old jerk bag. I'll close in saying this: there is a podcast that I listen to, and I won't give away its name, but they actually have the philosophy that if you don't watch it live then you shouldn't be mad that you get it spoiled for you. And I can't tell you how much I disagree with that. I'll give the perfect example. Me, Nick, and Adam Gumbert, we have a Facebook chat that we'll do throughout the week, you know, to prep for our wrestling show. Gumbert will watch Raw and SmackDown the day after they air because he can't. Like, he has to watch them on Hulu the next day. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I'll watch Raw live or I'll watch SmackDown live. And I'll just message Nick so as not to spoil anything for for Adam. I'll be like, hey, are you watching Raw or are you watching SmackDown? And if he says yes, then, you know, we'll talk about it. But I'm not going to spoil anything for Adam because he hasn't watched it yet. Almost deserves it, though. He almost deserves it. Just like, when are you recording? (laughs) (laughs) I'm kidding, Adam. I'm kidding. But that's the way to do it. Be considerate of the people around you because... 
everyone does they don't have perfect schedules life gets in the way of things like leisure time is leisure time it's when it happens it's not just like oh well i can clear my schedule of this so it's just be considerate of your fellow man or lady Oh, there was and one. There was one more thing I found, but go ahead. I got to. I was going to say that's where I say that's where the the week uh, week time frame comes in. That mm-hmm. gives them time to to check it out. If you haven't seen a new episode within that week, then you know I, it should be fair game. I mean, I don't I'm still agree with that, but I think that's how etiquette should be. At least a week. Mm-hmm. Last thing, and then we can go into Facebook questions. This was posted on Facebook by our uh, our friend, Mister Wally Phelps. From Pop Culture Palette. Happy belated birthday, Wally, by the way, if you're listening. He said, guys, I just found out people are planning on spitting in Jeffrey Dean Morgan's face at a convention. Don't. Just don't. I hate that this has to be said, but he is not really Negan. He is an actor. He is playing make-believe because Negan is not a real person. Mr. Morgan may make Negan seem super real as he is a fine actor. Second best performance in Watchmen and most watchable in all of Grey's. But he is not Negan. Stop being children about this. Like, that's totally idiotic. It is. Like, I understand, you know, really enjoying something or whatever, but when I see Ben Affleck, when we go hang out and get drinks and everything, he's not Batman. I know that. Yeah. He's Ben Affleck. He's Ben Affleck. You know, he's as good as Batman. Or, you know, me and Finn Jones hang out. He's not Iron Fist or Sir Loris Tyrell. Now, when I try and call Hugh Jackman and it goes straight to voicemail, <laughs> I know he's not Wolverine. <laughs> but he is the greatest American actor. <laughs> he is the greatest American actor of all time. <laughs> but anyway, back on back on topic. This guy, you got to watch out. If you spit on him, he's probably going to beat you up because not only has this guy been a superhero, but he's also fought you know monsters like werewolves. He's went toe to toe with the Yellow Eyed Demon. Talking about supernatural because he he played the father. Um, <laughs> Anybody who does that should be banned from any con mm-hmm. and, and also back. be charged with assault. And take it out oh, back yeah. and beaten. And if, Je- and, if Jeff- <laughs> and if Jeffrey Dean Morgan beats their ass, then he shouldn't get in trouble for it. No, but like, that's that's, just that's like the ultimate form of disrespect is spitting oh, yeah. in somebody's face. Yeah. Or killing their family in front of them. That too. Well, yeah, that. That's what I would do. Not to him, but yeah, for those people. But anyway, that that's my tangent, if you will. Stop on being spoilers. jerk holes. Yeah, word. It's not lit, fam. It's not lit. 